afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's uh, doing good and had a great Memorial Day weekend and uh, also last weekend as well. It's been like two and a half weeks or so now since I've been able to uh, get out detecting. Um, and we had a crazy heat wave, so I definitely did not want to get out in the heat. I tried one day, but it was for like 30 minutes and it was just so unbearably hot. I just said the hell with it. But uh, it's cooled off quite a bit. And as you can see right now, guys, I am back at the uh, the old fairgrounds and I'm inside of like a, a horse pen where they usually try to, you know, they break in the horses. So uh, I'm not gonna show too much of the area because again, I don't want to give away uh, this area. So I get a lot of other real newbies out here. Like I uh, tried explaining to you guys in my previous video, like last year I was pounding the hell out of here, but you know, I just started to see a really uptick in uh, the real, the newbies, real, real newbies coming in and kind of making a mess of the place. And I didn't want to, uh, you know, be responsible for their bad behavior and terrible detecting skills. Uh, anyways, guys, enough of me mumbling. Um, anyways, I ended up having like a, it was like a 15 to 16 and then the other way it was like a 19 solid and check this out look at that it's like a little horseshoe pin i don't think it's silver but that's cool i haven't pulled any jewelry in quite a while so this is kind of cool it does say something on the back but i think it's probably just either a name or something else. I don't think it's gonna say anything uh, like 925 or um, silver, or, um, stainless silver or whatever, or sterling silver. It, I, you know what? It could actually say sterling, but I would really have to uh, take a magnifying glass to that when I get home and we'll see what it is. It's got some weight to it, but the numbers again are so off, you know? Like I said, one way it was like a solid, like 19, and then the other way, probably because it's broken here, but um, the other way it was like a 14, 15, and like 17. Uh, but yeah, good find so far. Uh, I also pulled a clad quarter and a clad penny. I don't know how long I'm gonna be out here today, guys. Like it is like 78 right now, which is a hell of a lot better than what it was the last few days, but. Uh, the sun is definitely beating down on me still. And I uh, was able to get out of work a little early, but still pretty tired. So, I mean, I'll keep swinging. Hopefully uh, we can pull, uh, excuse me, find another Indian head penny or another four, which is pretty sweet. But if I could find one, that's awesome. But just this right here is a pretty good find. So I'll see you on the next hole. All right, guys. So I already pulled the plug to an extent. Um, grass over here is pretty dead but uh the plug was pretty good when i pulled it out and then it kind of blew apart when i started uh digging a little deeper but um anyways just wanted to say that just so you guys uh don't think i'm a complete uh mess every time i dig holes anyways on to the target so i took my earbuds off just so you guys could hear this just so you could know just how awful it is over here at these old fairgrounds now i did see a little piece of the uh the item in the hole but when i initially swung over the uh the ground it was all over the place it was like 18 to 23 and then when i started digging a little deeper the numbers started changing drastically and there was a ton of iron in there and I just want to show you what I'm dealing with in these uh, old fairgrounds. Like when I told you that the ground is so mineral mineralized, excuse me, um, and it's just iron ridden. So I probably should be putting that six inch coil on again, but check this out. Would anyone ever dig this? <laughs> and then the only thing, you get a piece of a good tone. Like 1730, I mean, I'm not even kidding you right now. I would never dig this, ever. And I actually had to swing the coil over it again. Now check this out. I haven't seen it yet. Like I said, I saw a little piece of it sticking out. 
and it's like yeah you see the green now I'm thinking either another Indian head penny or a wheat scent and it was probably oh I don't know maybe six inches deep now nobody in their right mind would ever dig that signal so I'm just this just excuse me this is just an example of how bad it is over here as far as the tones are concerned I mean again this will probably have to get dried off a little bit. But this is how it's always been. I mean, sometimes you get them nice, crisp tones coming in. And you know it's going to be a coin. Uh, sometimes you get fooled and it's going to be a piece of a beer can. But this thing, I mean, I would have walked away from that. And the only reason why I even like kept digging for it was it like initially those tones were a little off, but you could, uh, you know, you could pick it apart to an extent, but then like <laughs> you saw, like I pulled a plug and the numbers were everywhere. So it's just the fact that these coins are just so effed up and the ground has not been happy, or I should say good to them, happy to them. It's been a long day. <laughs> but I mean, I don't want to rub it too, too much. Ooh, I think I see a reef. That could be another Indian head penny. But again, I have to let it dry off. Get the toothpick on it because my fingernails are, you know chewed to hell yeah on to the next guys hopefully I can find another one all right guys I got a pretty solid 20 to 22 it's really shallow it's either gonna be a beer can or probably a clad penny but I'll show you that right now you're not gonna hear it either I got my earbuds in because again I don't like to <laughs> bring too much attention to myself when I'm out here in these uh, town parks or old fairgrounds or, you know, town commons and so on and so forth. I like to be pretty courteous of others because nobody wants to listen to a metal detector. Anyways, I'll show you that right now. So, I'm gonna pull the plug, guys, and you'll see what it is. Yep, just an old uh, beer can top, guys. But that's why I've been uh, pretty much avoiding the shallow targets out this way because um, it's gonna be like crap like this, or you know, it's not that I I don't want clad, but you know, I just I'm looking for the good stuff. <coughs> And it's not going to be shallow, usually. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to touch this up a little bit more. Well, make sure it looks like I was never there. Especially uh, with people judging your holes. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to keep swinging for a little bit more longer, guys. And uh, hopefully I find some better stuff. But I don't want to be out there too much longer, either. All right, I'll see you on the next hole. All right, guys. So I was able to chip away at that coin, and as you can see, it is indeed an Indian head penny. The date I cannot read right now. I'll have to wait till I get it home <clears throat> and clean it up a little bit better. Um, I was able to get a little bit of that mud off. It actually, when it dried up, it was it came off pretty easily. Even with my terrible fingernails. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. It's, uh, you know, last, was it two weeks, two and a half weeks ago or so? When I pulled like four of them out of the ground. But I think that, and I, I'm pretty sure this is a, a true thing, that uh, 
you know, the ground is a lot more, um, I don't know what the word would be for this, but um, it's more conductive, I guess. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for uh, when it rains. Because I've found that I have found a lot more uh, relics and coins after it has rained a significant amount. Or even while it's raining and I've been melee teching in it. And now that everything's dried out, it's, it's a little harder to hit these good targets. But, I mean, you saw it, guys. Like, that... <laughs> where this thing was in the ground, it was absolutely awful. So, I mean, just another piece of history saved. And I hope I can pull a date off of this when I get home. Because it is pretty rough. I mean, there, it looks like a three at the end of it, or maybe a five, but... I mean, I don't know. Again, another green Indian head penny. But like I said in my previous video, every copper that I pull out of this area is just, it's green. Every single one. Well, I'm going to do a couple more holes, guys. And uh, we'll see what else I can find. But it's getting a little late now. And, uh, uh, you know... I want to get home. Found a lot of cloud coins today. Well, like five of them, but you know, the typical junk. But this is the, the day maker if I don't find anything else other than that, uh, that cool little um, horse shoe pin, which is pretty sweet. I still got to try and get a magnifying glass on that too and see if uh, what it says on the back of it. Hopefully it's silver. That'd be nice. All right, guys, enough of me talking, on to the next. All right, guys, I had like a 11 to 12, I think 10 was even in there a little bit. And the depth was all right, that's why I decided to dig it. I was thinking maybe it would be a nickel, and at worst, a pull tab. Now, I haven't seen it yet, but again, <laughs> um, I run the detector over it after I pulled the plug and after it's now out of the hole. Uh, I believe it's in the clump now. I haven't seen it, like I said. But again, I'm going to show you real quick. I said it was like a 10 to 12. And now the numbers have changed. My earbuds are in right now, so you're not going to hear it. But you will see. Now there's a 15 jumping in there. 14, 15. Now that's got me a little apprehensive. Sorry for the glare again. Because, uh... That could be a pull tab or a beaver tail. But originally, I thought it was going to be a nickel. But we'll go through this together. See what it is. Like I said, the depth. I mean, it's about five inches or so. So I figured I'd dig it. Let's see what it is. Gonna be a pull tab. Where did it go? Did it fall back in the hole? Nope. Hmm. I just heard it. I swear I have OCD. Every time I have to check to make sure the pin point is working. a rock. <laughs> Did it fall back in the hole? Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> I swear, they always do this. Oh, here we go. All right. What the hell is this? What the? What is it? Oh, is it a piece of... Sh Excuse my language. Oh, cool. A little button. It's like destroyed. <laughs> but that's definitely a button. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever dug a button here. Oh, I've, you know, common buttons like the snap buttons. But this is cool. I mean, it's absolutely shredded. But, you know, that's a first for me out in these uh, fairgrounds. 
I mean, it might even still be common, but I don't know. It, it almost looks like a destroyed cuff button. I mean, that thing is, looks like the mower ate it. That's cool. It might even have some stuff on the back of it if I can uh, clean it up a little bit. Man, that thing got destroyed. <laughs> well, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. Let's keep swinging. All right, guys. I got another 11, 12, 13. Um, as you can see, I haven't pulled the plug yet, but I'm going to show you that right now. Again, not to keep repeating myself, but... I'm um, going to keep my earbuds in for the day just because, again, people out here and I'm not trying to uh, draw too much attention to myself. So, anyways, I'll show you that right now. 11, 12. Depth looks pretty good, but does change a little bit. Pull the plug, guys, and if it's something good, you'll see it. So that last plug uh, ended up being a pull tab, unfortunately, guys. But uh, now I've got a good tone, um, or should I say target. Uh, it's like a 24 to 26, so I'm going to assume it's probably a clad dime. I'll show you that right now. I mean, the depth isn't crazy so so I'm gonna probably assume clad dime I'll pull the plug though and we'll see what it is actually it was a clad penny guys that's uh different <laughs> Those, uh, that signal was definitely clad dime all day long. So, again, it's got to be the, the ground here. What is that, 1981? Yeah. Well, these usually come up like 19 to 21, not dime range, which is a, what you saw. You know, 25, 26, 27 sometimes. That's weird. Huh? Whatever. A couple more holes, guys, and I think I'm going to heading out of here. <clears throat> Hopefully I can find a silver coin today. That'd be nice, but, you know, I'm content with what I got so far. All right. Another hole. Here's the wrap-up video for tonight, guys. Um, I was out there a little longer than I wanted to be today after work. Um, initially I wanted to only be out there for like two hours max, but I ended up being out there till the sun started going down. So I'm pretty sunburnt right now, not to mention, uh, you know, I worked today too, and it wasn't that bad, but you know what I mean? Like you get pretty tired, especially when you're out in the sun all day long. So I'm a little, uh, out of it <laughs> to say the least. Um, anyways, I'm going to do my uh, wrap up video. As you can see, I'm at back steps again, while I have a little bit of sunlight left. So uh, I'm gonna quit mumbling and get into it. As you can see, I got a hell of a lot of surface finds. Them damn golf balls, man. I'm telling you, they haunt me. It's like I should have been like a metal detecting a golf course today. <laughs> but anyways, um, as you can see, I dug a lot of holes and a lot of them ended up being junk. But you know, that's the name of the game. However, I did find some sweet giant copper gauge which is gonna definitely go to scrap this this is heavy which is you know most people are gonna look at this like junk but you know what i don't that's good little couple scraps here and there a little wire some people are gonna look at that like i said like absolute junk but not in my case uh this will all go to scrap if you've been following me for a while or if you've uh, just subscribed um, I keep all my scrap 
And at the end of the year, I bring it to the scrapyard and I can see what I get out of it. And that stuff right here is heavy gauge stuff. So that's just money in the pocket. Um, anyways, enough of that. Uh, ended up digging, guys, uh, five clad coins today. Uh, one quarter, three pennies, and one dime. And here's that silver uh, horseshoe pin, which is pretty sweet. I mean, there's some weight here, guys, I'm telling you. And I still, for the life of me, can't see what that says. I'm going to throw a picture up of it at the end of the video. Maybe uh, somebody that has better eyes than I do can uh, make that out. Leave a comment. It'd be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Um, I'll take a picture of it like this and then upside down in case the writing is either right side up. I don't know. Anyways, here's that uh, Indian head penny. Still have no clue what the date is, guys. I mean, this thing is pretty rough. Might be 1893 or 1903. I mean, that's just a rough guesstimate. So, I mean, it, it, still a great, great find. Another Indian head penny to the collection. Dug four of them. Uh, what was that? Two weeks ago? Two and a half weeks ago now? But still awesome. I was able to pull an Indian head today. And then here is that absolutely destroyed what looks, what appears to be, excuse me, a cuff button. That thing is just destroyed, guys. And there is something written on it, but for the life of me, I cannot make it out. It is just too much of it is gone. Which is so unfortunate, but you know, at the same time, I again, I have never dug a um, an older button in those um, fairgrounds. It's always the common stuff, like a snap button for jeans or a snap button for a coat. So this is kind of cool, even though there's very little of it left. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for tonight. This dig. Um, Please like, subscribe, comment as always, and I will definitely be trying to head out again within uh, the next week. I think the, uh, the heat wave has ended for now, so the weather should definitely be a lot better to Melly Tech in. So, I'll see you guys in the next hole. Have yourself a good night. Later.